Hello and welcome to another Red9 demo. Um, today we're going to be going through the Red9 Pro Pack, uh, the installer version, um, and the update systems that we've added in to try and make things a little bit smoother for us to roll out incremental updates to clients um, and users. So when you get um, the installer from, from Red9, it, it's a zip file. Um, now this is a Windows installer. If you're on Mac or Linux OS, the process is dead easy um, and we'll take you through that afterwards. But for the time being, let's just, let's just go through this. Um, I'm just going to install that, sorry I'll zip it, and run the installer. And what the installer will do is the installer will ping our server, it will come back with all the available builds and the status of the builds. Uh, you'll see we've got some of the beta, some that are update, which means it's a stable release, uh, and critical, which means really you should take it because we found an issue. Um, I'm going to install the latest one. Well, I, I say it's the latest, this isn't quite the latest. We've moved servers, we've moved systems. I'm taking you through the stuff that's currently available. Um, there's a whole new set of things that are available and coming very shortly. Um, so I'm going to pick the latest one. You'll notice the install path, um, which by default is in data and Red Knight Consultancy. And we're going to download that. That's now pulling it down from the servers. Uh, you've got a little thing there. Uh, latest build is available. Would you like to install it? Yes, I would, please. Um, terms, which are just the standard license terms. We accept the terms. And done. Um, that's it. It's as simple as that. That's installed, done. Now, if I start Mayor up now, in fact, before we do that, let's just have a look what it's done. If we're in program data, you'll see we now have a builds folder. Um, this is a cache of all the previous builds that we've had, so um, you'll see that in a minute when we are allowing people to roll back to between versions. Uh, and this is the active build that's currently available, which is this one here. You'll also see in your Maya um, preferences we've made a module file, and the module file literally just points to this folder. That's all it's doing. If you're on Linux or Mac OS, <coughs> like say pingers, we'll, we'll send you the zip of, of this, and all you've got to do is make the module file and literally point it to the directory that this lives in. That's all we're doing on the install, dead easy. Now then, if we run Maya, bear in mind this is the first time we've run it with ProPack, what you'll do is you'll get a prompt, because um, obviously we've got to license this thing. Now the licensing at the moment is a 30 day trial license or it's a client license. Um, the whole thing is about to change. We've got a new website where it allows you to do monthly subscriptions um, and annual subscriptions and everything is managed off the website. So this whole process is going to get a lot easier uh, moving forward. Okay, so the activations come forward. Now if you've already activated you'll have a user and a password. If this comes up it generally means we've moved servers and you've just got to re-enter those details. If you haven't done and you want to try Red9 Pro, uh, if you do register, that will offer you up uh, a registration form, you enter your name, email address, which is really important because email address is one of the keys that we use to check against users, your username and your password. Um, I've already done this process, I'm not going to fill it out here, um, but after doing that and after hitting the register button, you will get an email from us and the email will have the key and the key is the key that we need to enter to say I'm a valid user. It's just a case of you know confirming who you are. Uh, so we'll just go activation. Um, in this case, I have a key because we've, I've just shown you the key. I'll enter the key, validate the email. That should come back. And now uh, all I've got to do is enter the registration. There's the ping to say that we've done it. There's the ping. So I'll go, uh, hang on a second. I'm just copying the details off that I did. Uh, there's my user. There's my license. Activate Pro. It uh, needs to reboot because obviously we're um, spinning all of the Python up during Maya boot. So we say yes, and that's it. Um, ProPack's now up and running. We're licensed, and it should be going. There we go. I'm just seeing it in the script editor. Up it comes. <coughs> Hitting PyMail probably, which is why it always pauses. Ba -ba -ba. Come on. Okay, and we're up. Now then, what you'll see in Maya is a few things that you need to be aware of. This little rocket ship down here, that's really important. If we click on that, you'll see we get the same UI. The UI that you see through the install is only ever used when you install it. That's it, and then it's thrown away. We don't need it. Um, this install and update system is inside Maya and inside our modules. So again, if you're installing on Mac or Linux, all of this system, once it's in place, is available from within inside Maya. You don't need our installer. And you'll see this is the build we've got installed. This is the location of that build. If we click on that, you'll see some of the issues that we've had and why it's a beta. 
Uh, if we want to change builds, all we're going to do is click one of these, it'll download it, it'll take you through the process and it'll reinstall it. And all it is doing during that process is it's moving the module file to the new location. So what it'll do, you'll have another one down here and it'll remove the module for, uh, pointer to the next folder. Again, these ones in here, these are the builds you've downloaded. They're not actually installed. This is just here to say that we've got it. This is the one that's currently installed. Okay. Now there is another uh, process we do in, uh, in Red9 as well, and that is client builds. Um, so if you're a client and we've given you a client core, we'll tell you it's a client core, and that basically is the project management side of thing, which is this one here. And you need to install that in a slightly different process. What we do is we add client core build. I'll just get that over there, point it somewhere where you can see. Uh, I can't remember where I moved it. Run that test. Okay, there's my testing. That's a client core build. Again, it's just a zip file. We say yes, um, it's not installed, so it says, do you want to install it? Yes, we do, thank you. Again, reinstall, sorry, um, restart. Uh, I don't think that will prompt, so we'll just do that, and we'll restart in the background. And that's now installed our testing build. <clears throat> Again, if you've got a client court, that's the process of installing, really easy. If we go back to the folders that we were looking at, and we go back to program data, what you'll see now is inside builds we also have client builds so we have the propact builds and client builds that's the test testing zip all it's done is it's moved it into a place where we've managed it and in the install it's given you this extra folder which is just merged into the process so every time you get a build it will merge in the client core to it and if i now press that you'll see we've got three different projects available this is our project management software and how we deal with that data uh, i can switch projects etc by default, that doesn't come with Pro, um, but the pro this project manager does, but by default, you just get an empty project. Um, and that's it for install, really easy to do. One thing that you need to make sure if you're running our rigs, anything with Meta, is to make sure that this Red9 dev rig is selected. Now, by default, it is. Um, the software by default will go in and look and install it. However, if you've been running Red9 Studio Pack, what you'll have is that you'll have um, just find one is you'll have the um, the red nine config which is just there and that manages where this goes so if you've already had studio pack be aware open up this if you're running the red nine rigs and you're testing our puppet rig this one needs to be red nine dev rig that's really important for some of the systems otherwise you'll get some strange things happening um, and that's it really, it's really easy. Like I say, when you want to update, you click that, it will show you the status, whether you've got any newer builds coming, and if we have, if you have, you literally just click on the download and tell it to install, and that's it. Um, like I say, the new process that's coming um, is a lot more simple. Um, copying the keys, it's not, it's just an email, you press a button and it will do it all for you and register on the servers. Hopefully that will be up and running in the next few months. The website's almost finished and all that process is nearly done, um, but that's it. Um, thanks for watching. Lots more to come. Thank you. Bye.